As the world is evolving, many women today in Africa are striving hard to change the face of leadership in Africa through dedication to their home, careers, and nation at large. Oluna Yaluwale is one of many women who have taken up this challenge. In one of her recent work titled, Sound with Arts and Might, said the book will encourage African women in taking up leadership role with a strong heart to serve. This book was born out of um, a way of reaching out to women who have the passion to serve, who have the passion to be in politics, to, to be um, a leader for their people. And um, the challenges that are behind such passion, you know, being a woman uh, in Africa, also, you know, um, dealing and, you know, being with um, the men. It's, it, it's called a man's world. But when you have a woman who is serving, uh, there are various challenges that you face. So this book was born out of my, um, you know, desire to actually lay to bear for women because there are some women who want to do this but because of the societal pressure or oh, you can't do it you're a woman what would your husband say um, you know this and that so it's a way of showing people that it can be done and also to encourage the men to um, support women who truly have that passion who truly want to help to make a difference Olunaya says the message on the book is about patriotism and redirecting our leaders to their goal and call to humanity. First and foremost, I want to redirect our leaders to our national anthem. It's a call to obey. It says, arise, arise, O compatriots. Nigeria's call, obey, to serve. So uh, the first mandate is to serve. Not only to serve, that means every leader is being called. Whoever he says he's a leader. It is not about the people serving you. It is about the leaders serving the people. Arise, O compatriots, to serve with heart and might. If you serve with your heart, that means you're selfless. You're not selfish. You're not about your own agenda. It is about the agenda of the people. And you're serving with your might. That is, you are throwing in everything. Everything that you have got. You're throwing in your, your person, spirit, soul, and body to serve the people. And to make it a better place. You know, I would take them back to, 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 to the national anthem and to the pledge. Tomaro Bell, the representative of the Congresswoman, Sheila Jackson Lee, said she appreciated her courage in writing about her experience and the challenge in taking up leadership position in Africa. The courage, the courage that it took for this author with all that she's been through and the obstacles that face women, not only in Nigeria, all across the world, but especially in Nigeria, to be able to go through the tribulations and the trials and then write about it. And to say that even if you somebody knocks you down, you dust yourself off, you pick yourself up and you go on. And to write a book about how you gotta put your heart in it. You can't do it for the money or the recognition because you're gonna fail. If your heart isn't in it, you're never going to prevail. And that's what this book is such. The timing is perfect for everyone to read this book and see how you can elevate yourself. You have to believe in yourself and you have to apply your heart. Bell said the congresswoman is selective about who she give the award of recognition to. Congresswoman is very selective about who she gives representative recognition to. And it meant so much to her how the art that this woman is doing is providing and lifting spirits. So she felt she deserved, because when you can paint in a storm, that shows something about your heart. It's easy to paint on a sunny day when everything is fine, but when you can still do your art to bring beauty and to bring hope to other people, it shows your concern. Nulaya says the award is a dream come true. Is a fulfillment, is a dream come true. It is a dream made real. And I feel elated, I feel fulfilled, I feel that 
there are more years to come that I should not relent in my efforts. It is an encouragement to me. It is an, att an attestation of what I believe and go for. And I want to thank her most sincerely for taking her time for doing this honor, this great honor to me. Um, a woman of substance she is, and a woman of, of faith. Olunneye, however, promised to focus more on the future in contributing to the growth of the nation.